Hello guys and this is the Russian Genius and in this video I will be teaching you a move that some people have been asking about. Now this might seem like a simple move and for some people it might be easy but for others it's a little bit more difficult. Here is how it looks like. Just like that. Now this is called the in the hands riffle shuffle. Before I teach it, let me just say, if you did not know, then I do have an Instagram, so feel free to follow what I do on Instagram. Here's my profile, it's called the Russian Genius. So if you want to get updated with more stuff, then feel free to follow me down there, alright? It's just a little promo for myself. Anyways, now this move is more difficult to do in the hands than it is on a table. If you know how to do this move on a table, but not in the hands, then you will easily be able to do this in the hands from watching this tutorial, or that's at least what I hope. Here is how this is done, I will first teach you this quickly, and if you know how to do it from the quick explanation, then you can just move on to a different video, alright? And if you still don't know how to do it, then I will explain some of the more difficult pieces of this move in a little bit slower, if this makes any sense. So here's how you do it. You hold the deck in the mechanics grip, and then you're going to transfer it into your hand. And basically, here's how I'm holding it. I'm holding the deck like this. As you can see, my fingers are right here, so my pinky finger, my ring finger, and middle finger, and my index finger is going to be right here on top of the deck. The mistake that a lot of people they do is that their fingers, they are right there at the edge of the cards. Your fingers need to be more curled to the deck, if my English is correct, I honestly don't know. So basically, your fingers need to be curled, and the deck needs to be right here at these joints of your fingers, so right there. And then, when you're holding it like this, that makes sure that you're able to riffle the deck without the cards falling, as you can see. So basically, try to learn to riffle the deck without the cards falling off your fingers. A lot of people, when they try to do this move for the first time, then they usually hold the cards right here at the fingertips, and when they riffle, then the cards, they fall down. Now this is called a dribble, not a in-the-hand riffle shuffle, or whatever you want to call it. There are few different names for this shuffle, but it's primarily called for a riffle shuffle. So here's what you do, you hold it in this position, you take half, riffle the half, just like this, without the deck falling off, and now you're simply going to transfer it to this hand. So basically, boom, just like this, you're going to grip it in the same position as you are with this hand. So this hand and this hand, they are in the same position. And now what I'm going to do is I am bending the decks, as you can see. Uh, if this deck is difficult to bend, then just place your index finger on top and then just push with the index finger to get this bent. And once you have this bent, then your index finger is going to go on top, and the other index finger is also going to go on top. And now, I am going to be riffling the cards from the thumb, from both of the thumbs at the same time, and this magic happens, as you can see, just like that. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to bend the cards, and then the bridge it happens so now you probably know how this is done and let me explain the bridge in a little bit more detail so uh, the bridge that is this because it looks like a bridge when you're doing it so just like this and now 
you're going to bend the deck and you're still keeping pressure on the cards and when you want them to wave in together and then you kind of let go of the pressure and the bridge it happens now also if you have a really bad piece of shit in the hand triple shuffle and then the bridge is going to be difficult to do because if you do the bridge and your shuffle looks like this wait that's a little bit that's good to be honest if your shuffle looks like this wait that's also good okay what i'm trying to say if your shuffle looks like this this is a bad shuffle as you can see there is this giant gap then there are a few cards which are waved in between but there are a lot of gaps as you can see one there and one there when doing the bridge then the bridge is going to happen really fast and it's going to be difficult to do it as you can see it just looks retarded so you need to be able to wave the cards or weave the cards like this so beautifully now if i take this and if i spread it out to show you then it looks something like this almost all the cards are going one by one or two by two or something like that so try to take it slow just like that and as you can see the cards they're waving one by one by one sometimes and then when you do the bridge then it's easier now it's kind of like the one-handed shuffle it's easier to to wave the cards to pharaoh the cards together when doing the one-handed shuffle and then when you are ready just like that and you finish it so yes that was the tutorial i hope that you guys enjoy this oh god damn it god damn it why can't i do this just like that it's because the seven of spades is a bit it doesn't work all the time whoop just like that now it's the three of clubs and the three of clubs works just like this anyways thank you guys for watching i really hope that you enjoy my tutorial on this move and also when you try to do this with a deck of cards then it's going to be easier sometimes to do it from the face it depends uh, which card it is and how they're made it's easier to do it from the face of the deck when you use uh, most of the tally ho decks so it's easier to get the cards weaved or waved together as you can see one by one from the face of the deck rather than from the back if this makes any sense so that's just a small tip that you can try out anyways thank you guys for watching oh my god damn it whoa 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 all right just like oh god damn it just like this look at this that's a mess now i only have like half of the deck left so anyways uh thank you guys for watching uh i really hope that you enjoy this video my tutorial on this move and as always make sure to like and comment and subscribe and let's make the deck vanish boom just like that you probably saw me palm off the deck but anyways thank you for watching make sure to like and comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video